for IT consulting in Pasadena, trust Dependable Computer Guys Incorporated. Established in 1993, DCG has helped hundreds of businesses just like yours manage and maintain reliable computer networks. Dependable Computer Guys. For network support, call 626-689-2215. Hello, I'm Ben from Dependable Computer Guys. We're frequently asked how to enable Telnet in Windows Vista Server 2008 and Windows 7. It's been removed by default and it's a common tool for testing uh, network connectivity to mail servers and other protocols. The reason you may want to enable Telnet in Windows is for administration of routers, switches, and connecting to remote computers. Today I'm going to show you how to enable it. First you start by going to Start and Run type in appwiz.cpl and click on OK. This will bring up the Programs and Features window. On the left side you want to select Turn a Windows Feature on or off, which brings up the Server Manager. You can scroll down and select Add Features from the Feature Summary list. In the list, scroll down and locate Telnet Client and select it. Once selected, click Next, and then click Install. The install process may take several minutes depending on your hardware, so be patient. Once the install completes, you can click on Finish, then go to Start, Run, type CMD to pull up a command prompt and click OK. You can then type in Telnet, T-E-L-N-E-T, -E -E followed by the server's name or IP address, and the port number you want to test. In this example, we'll do mail, and then hit enter. It'll then come back with the response from the mail server, and you can now enter commands to send mail. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any other server and networking questions, you can give me a call at Dependable Computer Guys.